notion. Uh, Bruce Brisky never spoke to me. I have never met him. I do not know him from Adam. It was a lecture I have spoken to my son. Very dark man. To away pride, make you beg this man. No more let all those your fans and all those confused bloggers be full everywhere when they call themselves rate, 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 put it for wala. It's like saying you don't know the meaning of judge. Judge gets the power to condemn you forever. Just beg him. You see, you're a very dark man, the king of Nigeria, we know. To wear pride. This year, anyway, just say the video here now. But you know, if you like, it's the best for me. In this country called Nigeria, the best way they are alive is celebrate tomorrow. If they arrest you, none of your fans go follow you to that place. Will get sense. Actually, reached out to uh, to you. Did Bobriski speak, uh, or directly or indirectly to you? If that is not the, if that is the case or not the no. case, what are you doing? You've written a letter no. seeking a retraction of it. No. But what sure. are you What are you doing to establish your innocence in what has been an allegation on this matter? No. <laughs> no, she. Uh, Bruce Brisky never spoke to me. I have never met him. I do not know him from Adam. It was a lecture I have spoken to my son, uh, Falang, uh, first. Uh, yes, my son said this guy was appealing to people for assistance and he called my son. I think on May 4, there about this year. Please, can you give me three? Uh, a three million naira to be placed in a special part of the prison. We call it the VIP section. And my son asking, Are you calling me uh, under the authorization of the superintendent of prisons? He said, No, please don't call me again. I'm unable to assist you to bribe the prison authorities and be very careful since you're already in jail for an offense please if you are going to come in next time you either do it through the superintendent or you write a letter endorsed by the prison authorities and that was the last somebody now said they listened to a tape somewhere and went out to lampoon and rather defend me by saying the guy had spoken to me of course, we are going to uh, examine the call-ups. And my son has also said, this was the guy who originated call, a call to me. My son has never, never negotiated fees on behalf of anybody. On the contrary, my three children normally refer people who need assistance to me. And not those. In fact, my wife was asking our kids recently, why are you always sending people who are not able to pay our fees? Next time we are going to be charging you. So this is the position. Now what I'm going to do, I have resisted the temptation shown to file a criminal complaint because I'm leading a team of lawyers in West Africa campaigning for decriminalization of freedom of expression. We have succeeded. Uh, this campaign is being coordinated by uh, the Media Foundation for West Africa, of which I'm a member of the board. We have succeeded in getting Liberia, Ghana, and Sierra Leone to decriminalize freedom of expression. We are still appealing to other countries in the region to ensure that we respect freedom of expression. But that is not a license for defaming people, for blackmailing people. Once, and what we are saying, if you are defamed, in the words of the late Justice Ola Tawura, in the case of uh, Wan Kwan, the state, if you are defamed by anybody, please go out there and sue for life where you will put your own character in issue. In this case, we are not going to uh, file a criminal complaint. We will not be pushed to do that. I'm currently defending a couple of journalists who are standing trial, either under the cyber crime act or under criminal life. But what you are going to do is to embark on civil proceedings with a view to restoring our integrity, my own name and that of my son, so that nobody will simply rush to the social media to defend any Nigerian. We want to make an example 
in this case, we have asked for a retraction and an apology render to us. And that is not too much. And if we don't have a retraction, an apology acceptable to us, accepted by us, we are certainly going to uh, uh, initiate civil proceedings in the yeah. high court. Yeah, Mr. Falano, because this is actually not, I mean, I'm saying for the <laughs> sake of the, of the public who have not seen or heard from you in this matter, okay. will have the benefit of hearing your own side of the story. And that's why I brought it up. But uh, I know how painful this could be, especially if you have built a reputation so over the that, years. Shall, now, the question, shall, please. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so, the question.